Hi, welcome back to the workbench. What we've got coming up are Wonder Swan Teardown and Introspective. I'll be going over the Wonder Swan. I'll be repairing this one. It needs a new filter in front of the screen. The screen works okay. And I'll go over what the hardware was internally. These are kind of interesting. And also, I'll be doing 3D printer bearings. These are the Igus Drylands. And what I found was that they weren't being properly encased to squeeze the rod on the uh, 3D printer well enough and weren't making good contact with it. So I was working out what the best diameter was for the Igus dry lens for both making a press fit housing for it in the future and for using specifically on the Prusa i3 Mark III. When I get these finished up, I'll have those. But what we're looking at today is the Data East Champion, Karate Champ rather, My Arcade, which is a weird little unit that has an arcade built in. It's just got the single game, I think, unless there's some way to get it to play other games that I didn't discover. But it uh, it actually works okay, and uh, we'll be taking a look at that. So here we go. So the My Arcade, uh, well, you can see it working right here. I'm not even sure what kind of screen that is. It doesn't seem to be doing the LCD thing on here, so it seems pretty good. The, the quality on it's all right. It's the game Karate Champ from Data East, which as a single game on here is almost kind of a waste to me. It's pretty basic. It's not not the worst game in the world, but you've got two buttons. One punches, does things forward. One does things backwards. The hitboxing seems a little weird on this. Uh, all in all, it doesn't seem like it's a great port. I'm not sure if this is the best version of the game. I'm going to guess not. And it's not my favorite version of this game either. There were some other uh, Karate Champ style games that I liked a little bit better than this in particular. So let's see what's inside this case. I might actually have to destroy it to get into it. I think the sides need to come off because there's, uh, there's wood screws holding in the sides of this case that are under these plates. There's also screws on the back, four of them, but they don't seem to completely take the case apart in this one, unfortunately. So let me get into this and we'll see exactly how to get into this. Then we'll take a look at what's inside. I'm actually really curious what they used for a screen. It does seem like that might be a little better than some of the other ones I've seen, but who knows, maybe not. I'll probably have to look up the part numbers on some of this stuff if it, if it actually has anything visible on it. So on each side, there's five wood screws holding in the side plate, and the side plate holds on that, which it certainly... Ah, yeah, the side plate, and these ones do hold do hold the back on. I have seen one on, on which that wasn't the case, or at least it looked like that wasn't the case, but who knows. Could be the person who'd taken it apart that was showing it had already, already taken that bit off and just didn't, uh, didn't bother to show it. I do hate it when a manufacturer does this, makes it completely impossible to take the the device apart without destroying destroying all of the housing on it. It's kind of crappy. In this case, I'm not too worried. I'm not that attached to this machine, so destroy away. It'll probably go back together okay with a little bit of a little bit of glue. Maybe I can make it fit better too. All right, there we go. So only the back screws need to be replaced if you didn't want to take these out. These hold in probably the rest of the components, although now they probably hold components in internally. Let's take a look. Okay, so pretty simple. Uh, you've got the speaker up here. You've got a audio output for headphones and volume volume level controls up here. There's your battery connectors. A little piece of plastic flying everywhere. And USB input power for 5 volt with... Eh, these aren't great. Those are just... Well, they'll work as long as this never gets opened up, I suppose. It's not like anybody was intending this to ever be taken apart, so... Let's see. 
Let's see if we can check out what the display is. I'm not a fan of these cables either. Those uh, hard plastic, hard plastic lines. They do tend to break the moment you look at them funny. Oh, and there's the power switch down here, the labeled DRJJ-01. That's just the on-off switch on the bottom. I don't think it has another function, but once we get it out, we'll see if there's anything else on there. All right, so that's just a standard screen. It's a, let's see, CID 240BK76B or 8, but I believe it's a B, NT, uh, 2.8 probably the size, CMI 1, 10, space 10. And it looks like it's got some controller chips on the cable. Ah, and then there's our, oh, and it's also got an additional label BR-8347 on there. And then here's our completely blobbed up controller with probably a power IC up here. Ah, so I was probably wrong. That looks like it's a Winbond memory chip. I'd have to look up the part number, but that's probably the memory on the device. And this doesn't look great. There's some ah, some schmutz from production over here all over the board. Yeah, the solder joints are so-so. They're just, I mean, they're soldered. They're holding right now. I suppose that's the important bit. Production date's 2017, 918 2017 and that's about it. There isn't too much else remarkable on this. The solder on the leads going to the screen, eh, going to the buttons, kind of sucks. That's pretty much it. It's probably using one of those uh, little clone chips from the Nintendo on a chip. We'd have to see what ROM it's running in particular to determine what chip it's likely to be using. Probably the easiest way to figure it out, but without getting that blob off or really caring too much about what's under there. The joystick's a standard design. It's just the um, it's the same buttons you see everywhere with the circuit board printed design with the conductive pads on the underside of the joysticks to make contact. I'd have to get the rest of this. Uh, well, let me see. Take the rest of this out. I'm actually a bit of a loss as to how to get these out. I don't see a way to unscrew those. Is there... Yeah, because there's no seam. It looks like they might have been put in place and then the whole thing assembled around it because they're screwed in from the bottom. And I don't see a way to detach that plate. There are screws there. But that's all one molded piece. And it's all one molded piece through here. So let's see if the plate holds the joystick and buttons on it is one molded piece as well. Maybe this is maybe this is screwed in up here as well. There's a third button on this. Or at least the carve out for one. Hold on a moment, let me get that cleaned. So there's definitely a third button down here. Yeah, we'll see what that does as soon as as soon as I've got this thing back in you know working order. Let's see if I can get the joystick portion of the. All right, screen protectors next. Let's see if that makes it any easier to get the joystick portion out. And there's that off. Ah, okay. Once that it's all apart, just slides out. There we go. And last bit off. And that's just a standard power button and a couple of LEDs. And that's it. And looks like they've switched over to a surface mount resistor from what used to be a tiny through hole for the LEDs. Of course, that's DRJJ-01, so maybe they actually just made it so that you can use either a through-hole resistor or a surface mount resistor because uh, the O1 suffix would make me think this is probably the first and only revision of this circuit board, at least as, as of the production of this. So, all right, let's see what that center button does as well. 
the, and if this thing powers back up now that I have it completely torn to bits. And day. All right. Hmm. Let's see. What do I have that I can make contact with that? Screwdriver will probably work. Doesn't appear to be doing anything. Could be that it's just a one-up for games that need a control for the um, coin op, maybe. Let's see. Okay, start. What happens if we hit it while well, it's in the game? Nothing. So, that doesn't appear to do anything. At least not yet. I'll see if there's any ways to make the blob-on-chip design here do anything different. I don't know if, if this is set up to handle different games and they just switch a jumper somewhere to make them different games, or if this is just a single loaded ROM in the memory chip or what. But I'll do a little experimenting with it, see if I can make it do anything else interesting. And that's about it, I think. Uh, so crusty, horrible soldering job on the wires. You can see it's got lots of exposed wire, not going through the holes. Just surface solder mount on all this. Uh, the screen's actually fairly respectable. It's a it's a standard LCD screen, although I'd have to look it up. Not dead positive on that. And the rest of the components are okay. There's not much else to it. System on chip, memory, power controller, some assorted supporting circuitry resistors, capacitors, what have you. And the same for those. And it's got the standard... Oh, and I didn't take these off. One second. Let me get this fully apart. Just so we can confirm what we already know about the joystick. Yeah, there you go. So it's just the standard. Eh, kind of a cheap implementation of those press buttons. And that's it. I think those are all the secrets this has in store for us. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe down below and uh, leave me any comments on anything you'd like to see. And if you want me to do anything else on this particular set of equipment, or if you have any ideas what any of the stuff might be. Oh, and that's labeled volume, V-O-L, on the board. So I assume that's a mute or something possibly not one in this game. And there's also some extra buttons on here. I'll, I'll play around with the circuitry on this and see if I can get it to do anything else. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that and see you next time.